sorry, so I'm just waiting for Josh to come back. I'm getting the water out at the moment. On my 125, I saw a top hill right there. Here, reversing in a minute. So I'm a little stir. I've got a leak on the pipe, but it should be all right. When I start pumping, it should come through. There's a mug spreader waiting on the wall, sir. Digger over the far end. So tomorrow we've got a high reach to come in to get all that stuff around those ramps there. And then that slew on the wall there, they'll probably track down there and it'll push what the high reach still can be. And then we should, should fingers crossed, have all the shit out of the lagoon by Friday night. Fingers crossed, we might have to do an extra day, we'll see how it goes. Weather's on our side, it's nice and dry. It's all dry around these lagoon walls, so we should uh, should get it all night. And then we're done for a couple of years, three years hopefully, on sand. We'll have to empty it with so tankers about four or five times a year. But the actual sand with the um, sluice, that, that'd be a three year job. Also loading up mock spurs today too. So we had a few mock spurs waiting because the slew can't keep up with them. So what I thought I'd do is empty this lagoon. One hand in here. Get a bit out with a um, tractor. Got a new nut and RB mock spreader. There's Josh, your boy. He's just turned that set the water out. What we've got is water settled in the back of this pit and it's quite a lot. I thought it'd be only a little tiny bit and it would mix up with this muck, but it isn't. It's um, too wet and it's burst out the front, so it won't mix up. So he's sucking that out and then the two spreaders are coming in. We're looking them up with the hard stuff. So we've got muck going out in the lagoon and out of the lagoon at, at the farm and we've got this going out. So we're going to have a good clear out today. Well, so our mug's going out and getting the cows in. The only problem is the cows have got to go across where they're driving through. So they're going up this track and then the muck sprayers are coming down through. So we have to have two people waiting either side on the wires. They're letting the muck sprayers in or hold the whole operation out. There's Dad down there in the track there. He's loading up the muck sprayers now I'm out of the boot. If you could just about see him, I'm sure you'll get Roy right over there he is. That's the 174 there, going down in a concrete lagoon. So I'm just going to rain these cows up, Toby and Phoebe are going to milk. We've got a load of grub to put right into in a minute. And then we're going to pay you out, we're going to feed them down the two barriers that I've seen in the other video and put it out in the field. We are getting misty rain all day today, so it might help out a little bit. Even though this looks really green, there is no grass here. There's slim cookies for these. So there we go, there we, we put some grub down there this morning and they've cleared all that up. You've got to put long and thin for the cows, both fine. You've got, a, you've got to stretch the whole length of the field. And then they nibble all that, they won't leave nothing behind. So I just sent the gates up for the cows tonight. So I've opened a gate across the track where the cows used to walk across. That night with a quad. I've got, just got the cows in and here comes Tom. With a tractor and wagon, this is a rare sight seeing the tractor and wagon out the field. So he's paid, yeah, we're feeding about five ton twice, yeah, ten ton a day, and he's just put a ton each down each barrier down the shed stain there. So he had about three ton left in there, and he's going to spew that out in a real long line out across the field. Now, I've only ever known that three times since I've been around on the farm. Because this is a wet farm. It grows for a dry, but we had two. I think it's 2003, 2018, and 2022. Now there is no grass for the cows because we've run a lot of grain too. This is um, yeah about 900 acres this farm, or 350 milk cows and follower, and it's wet, so it's a grassy farm. But now it's dry, so it's a rare occasion. So hopefully, you know, we won't see it for a long time. Not too bad, I suppose. Working in uh, dry weather, you know, the job though was worse if it's too 
well to dry. At least when it's dry, it's not you're not getting rained on all the time. And when it does rain, because it will rain at some point, and it'll probably rain and rain and rain, then the grass will start to grow, so we'll get another cut of grass. But funny enough, this drive is the greenest drive I've seen. So look how green it is. But no grass around. So I'm out of the field where we're spreading the sand. Sand and shit. Well, it's like grass is going to bring over the That stuff. This is the soy sludge, this is. So this is sand, what's come out of the cubicles. Sand and mud, look at that. Get a bit of rain on that. So this is, um, this ground is all blue clay ground. So we've got a little bit of soil, but not much soil, not much. So you never want to play this ground too much. And then it's all blue clay underneath. So this sand, what's in the shit, it's going to do ground a bit good. Just look at that. Look at it real close, get the camera real close like that. That is, um, a lot of sand in there, so hopefully that helped ground out. Make it drain. That's a good spread, guys. 